a sneak peek at Pokemon. Oh, wow, that's really cool. I've never seen something like that. Does this um, SP come with the charger? Okay, could I take a look at the graphite one? 20 on that. Uh, I think I, I think I probably will go ahead and do that. I appreciate that. These are super cool. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen those like new like that. Wow, dang, cool. Well, I'll definitely, I'll think on this guy. That jungle beat seal is kind of interesting. I'm gonna look that one up. Okay, yeah, 55 after fees. Looks like he's got 50 on it, so we'll pass on that. One, all right, 120. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Okay, hold on. This stopped me in my tracks right here. Employee GameCube shirts. Holy cow. Wow, Jungle Beat 2. That's amazing. And wow, what about those uh, Game Boy SP hats? Yeah, they're pretty rare. What'd you have on that? Uh, I already sold one for 100. Did you? Wow, that's uh, really crazy. I think, I think for now I'll have to pass, but I'll probably regret it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, I'll think on it. Yeah. So folks, I'm in speed mode right now at the Game On Expo in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm speeding right now, stuff and stuff in my backpack. By the way, he gave me some free stickers. How cool was that? But at conventions like these, you can buy what's called a VIP ticket and get access one hour early. So you get kind of first shot at everything that the vendors have for sale. So I'm on a mission today for handhelds and Game Boy Advance games and stuff like that. So I'm trying to make my rounds as quick as I can. I heard a rumor earlier that this booth right here, everything is a dollar. I don't know like if that is actually true. It looks like this stuff over here is stickers, but who knows about this over here? I'll have to double check with them. I don't know, man. I, I don't know if I can believe that everything over here is a dollar. That's what Ricky said, but that would be kind of insane for all of this cartridge stuff that's more like three or four dollars normally. Also, the other big challenge that I'm working with right now is storage space, because this is one of, I think this is only the second convention that I've ever flown to, so I'm not really looking for much lower dollar stuff, because that's going to take up a lot of space relative to the money that I could make on it. So yeah, folks, this is the kind of stuff that I was mentioning I'm gonna be looking for. It's nice and compact, like something like that. Really don't need the manual. Dang, that's not fluff right there. <laughs> Found another, oh, not for resale. Dang, that's a, oh yeah, that's like the coolest part. Oh man, this might be the coolest item though. That's amazing. Yeah, I actually have one of these that I'm gonna be using here soon. Y'all open for business yet or yeah, should I come back later? Okay, well, I, you know, I never wanna be that pushy guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite thing I'm, I'm, that I've ever Oh owned. my gosh, yep. for a dollar. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I think that might be a different box. I don't know if this is actually the charging one. So I'll pass on that for now. I mean, it's still, it's not a bad price. All right, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, that's my section right over there. The handhelds. <laughs> I thought those games were actually in there. Oh, wow. Did, were you guys, did you guys know what you were asking on those? I don't know, five bucks. For the, okay. yeah. what's in this one? Some more of them? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I think I would do that. Five bucks piece. That sounds good. Thank you. Oh, this guy's cool too. I yeah. love the uh, eclectic That's... mix you guys have here. Well, thank you. Yeah. That's I have amazing. A lot more toys. I just don't have room for them. Yeah. Oh man. This brings me back. This is the exact one I had. I was one of those guys that got the DS before the DS Lite right. and was just slapping myself over it. <laughs> So you guys know how I just said that I wasn't going to buy anything heavy? Well, these tins are definitely not light, but at five bucks a piece, I really couldn't pass it up. If any of you guys know anything about Bakugan, I've sold these in lots before. Some of them even individually can go for like 20 plus dollars, but even selling as a lot, I think three to four dollars a piece average is pretty conservative. And we've probably got like, I don't know, over 30 of them here. So it was honestly just a really solid price. It's the kind of thing that I think a lot of other video game vendors wouldn't necessarily look for, but since I have a background of a lot of different types of reselling, I have more of an eye for this random kind of stuff. Now, I told you guys earlier that my video game transport situation was pretty bad, but it's actually worse than I mentioned because this guy right here is literally all I have to bring video games back with me in. If my brain wasn't so small, I would have brought with me some smaller Ikea bags inside this to use as my transport in the game floor. 
But luckily, John, the showrunner, was kind enough to furnish me with this tucked away table for my stash. But seriously, you guys should have seen me today <laughs> walking like five blocks from my hotel to the convention center, lugging that massive thing behind me. You guys open for business? Sure. What'd you have on the uh, Pikachu? It's a PAL version one. It is PAL, okay. It is for 250 with both the games. Oh, cool. How, what are a buck a piece? All of them. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. a good deal. Yeah, it's a little scratchy. Here's another one that I usually buy. Looks good. That looks nice. All right, I found three of them. Thank you, sir. Y'all have a good one. Honestly, at a dollar a piece, these were all a really good deal. We got the Sega GT and Jet Set Combo Pack, Blasto, which if we can get it to work is actually like a $30 game, and Crash Warped Complete, believe it or not. Normally at a booth like that, I'd be buying much more because a dollar a piece on those was a really great deal, but because I have to get everything back in my luggage, again, I'm trying to stick only to items that will get me $10 profit a piece or more. I do, however, know somebody who drove here who might also be interested in those games. Me! Anyone recognize this uh, ugly gentleman right here? Ugly okay, so get what? this, dude. All three of these games okay. right here. Yes. Blasto, Crash, okay. $1. At you a paid a dollar each? Yeah, I paid a dollar each. Wow, that's a good and deal. And why I wanted to let you know is he's got a lot more. He bought these for a dollar each. This dirty whatnot reseller. What? I've never resold anything in my entire <laughs> life. You need to hop on that, man. Let's, let's face it. I'm not paying you enough. So you got to make money somehow. I honestly think you're overpaying me, but we don't need to tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be our little secret. We'll keep the meme going. Amiibos are another one of those things that are on my list because they're nice and light. Some of them I might even like take out of the package if the packages already don't look that good because some of them just sell really well on Amazon. Eh, not so much that one. Yeah, like you can see this one, Chic. He's got $30 on it. Technically it's new, but the package is really beat up. If it was in nice condition, I could get $75 for it after fees on Amazon. So I should probably tell you guys about this video is actually topic, which is day in the life of a video game reseller at a convention. Conventions are honestly the most exciting, most high energy part of what I do. It's a lot of buying, a lot of negotiating, all that stuff. And so today's going to be a little bit of a longer form vlog where I just take you through front to back. So far, we're still maybe like a half hour out before like the doors open and all pandemonium breaks loose. You guys open for business? Oh, yes, we are. Sure. Awesome. This is three. And the rest is price. This is price. Anything else I need? Do you guys have any, um, like, handhelds? Over okay. <laughs> this is cool. If I had more space, I would definitely do it. Any, um, like, DS, 3DS? Yeah, they're coming. Okay. I know I would be interested in the uh, black 3DS if that makes any difference, but you do you. Uh, 65. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. I appreciate it. Did you know what you were thinking on the um, DS lights? Lights are going to be a little bit cheaper. Okay. Yeah, these are in nice shape. And is the blue one another 3DS? Yes, it is. Okay. And would you do 65 on that one as well? Yeah. These two colors are 75 and then the other one's 65. This one's 75 and this one's 65. So this is 75, this is 65, or was this 65 as well? That's 65. Okay. This one's 75. I'll go ahead and, and does this one have the charger too? Yep. Okay. All right. Well, I'll do both of those then. If you want to start a pile. Corduroy Squirtle. I'm telling you, if I was closer to home, he would come home with me. That guy's cool. Why am I looking at Shopkins and Bakugan? I'm just supposed to be game hunting today. Did you know what you... Do these go with consoles or are they no, on their I own? I got so many of those. Okay. What were you asking on these? Um, okay. Ten. King cubes? That's my opinion. But if you're calling, if you're a guy... How about 12? 12 a piece? Yeah. I'll do that. Thank you. That's about right on price. I'm also looking for Monster Hunter Rise today, just for personal use. I've been wanting to play that recently. Ooh, this one could be a good one. Uh, 30 after fees looks like, and they want 25, so we'll pass on that. And we have down here the $3 bin. Ooh, yeah, that's a solid find for three. 18 after fees, that is solid. All right, well, this will be the fanciest recap I've ever given with this nice background and on this literal stage. <laughs> but we got two uh, 3DSs for 65 and 75. I don't know why they priced this one higher because at least for me, the black one sells for a little bit more. Um, but I should be able to get probably 140 a piece after fees for those. So that's a really good Amazon deal. Forza Horizon, 18 after fees for three bucks. Can't complain about that. And then GameCube controllers tend to go for around 30 a piece after fees, so 12 bucks was just fine. Also, I just love 
like anything GameCube. These controllers are just, they feel so good. Ooh, that's cool. Not a variant you see every day. Ooh, okay. Dang, that's one that's on my list. That's uh, a little expensive anyway. Oh, dang, what is that? GameCube dome, Mega Man X controller? I, I do not know. A Mega Man controller, wow. Wow, quite the selection in there. Oh, there's Klonoa. I actually just tested that game out on the Switch. Not really for me. Dang, check out all these complete in box handhelds. I do not see that. Oh, wow, that one's sealed. Folks, the lids are coming off. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Here's the one that we just got for a dollar. Nice. Ooh, I do like some of this. Holy mother of the 90s. Are you serious? Oh, this. Oh, I literally got this as a Christmas present as a kid. But at $14? That seems really cheap. Uh, no, multiple Pokemon watches. Oh, dang. These guys are dusty, but I may have some serious business to do at this booth. We'll see if these prices are good. That could be exciting. Oh, all gym badges? That's amazing. Oh, EB Games throwback. That is cool. Game players sealed VHS. That is so cool. Okay, Diddy Kong Racing. Banjo Kazooie VHS. What in the world? Oh, Retro Nintendo Power Backpack. That is sweet. Holy cow, there's so much cool stuff in this booth. I can't get over it. I wonder what he's doing on these old Nintendo Powers. And people, look down here too. We've got a Game Boy AC adapter more cool Pokemon toys. I mean, this booth is just stacked. What did you have on the um, Nintendo Power magazines over five there? Each. Five each on those? Yeah. And the books are just gonna vary, but mostly five bucks. Okay, well, thank you. So I just had to call Riff over again to give him the hookup since he actually has a car that he came with because this man is a recent Nintendo Power expert. So he's sniffing out the deals. Yeah, I know. This was like my this was my favorite section. I actually this I literally got in a stocking as a kid. Yo, on that Christmas is awesome. morning. Yeah. <laughs> I would not have picked that up. The first thing I so I'm a swap meat scumbag where everything I buy is normally junky, beat up, and old. So when I see stuff like this, <laughs> yeah, I can man. see a little little it's probably just a little COVID and hepatitis down yeah, here. No, that's fine. It'll oh, come off. Oh, herpes. Yeah, that one I thought was cool too. No, the one? Nintendo Power, that's yeah. That's the nicest one. Yeah, yeah. but the broling is missing the super. The super. Uh, it's missing the zipper. The zipper. Make it. So did he say he has these priced out individually? They're all five bucks. Okay. So I was thinking, I know that some of them have really good posters in there. I saw some of them down here were GameCube and N64 era, which can, ooh, that's a nice one. So you have these at like five bucks each, you said? Yeah. What if I grab a bunch? A bunch needed on the I know. Yeah, there are a lot of honestly really good ones in there. This one's, I mean, who doesn't want that? This is so useful. Yeah, that's a great one too. I bought that recently. The thing is, these things are super heavy, so I can't bring any of them back. But I mean, come on, Riff. Was I right or was I right? I'm already grabbing them. I know. <laughs> I'm pretty much grabbing everything. Also, look what I found. Oh, those are, this one. How much is this one? They're all five bucks. This one? Sure. Yeah. You're lying. Do you buy no. it? Yeah, I was going to. Unless you really want it, I'll gift it to you as my I, I, cherished I don't editor. I don't want to take it from you, but this one I would take from you. If, <laughs> because this is my childhood one. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah take it, man. Good. Collections always before reselling, folks. You might not believe me when I say that, but I do believe it. Update on this one. I actually turned that VHS tape in to get graded at IGS. I've never graded a VHS tape, never graded a video game even. But to me, this one was so special. Had to do it. So thank you, Caleb, for letting me get dibs on that. It's on my way, hopefully getting graded. Oh, that's a nice yes, one, too. Yes. I'll take all Dude, it's seriously, like, you just need to get a bin. I'm so glad Ricky didn't come here. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, seriously, if I had driven to this convention, those would all be in my trunk right now. I think if you don't just, like, put all, literally all of these in a stack and just say how much, you're an idiot. Ask him for me right now. Yeah. You, don't, you don't do an each. You just say a large <laughs> okay. number. So, no, 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 no. Hey, you, count, you count. You okay. count how many are there. What do you think? Probably 100? Probably about 100 there. Yeah. So, three bucks each would be 300. So, offer 250 to just take them all. Ask me right now. Bro, you, you, you're wearing the I Like Money shirt that I gave you. You need to do this for me. <laughs> That's true. Ask him. All right, I got my friend over there hooked on the uh, Nintendo Powers. Okay, yeah, he can dick throw it. There are uh, a solid number of them there. If we just took all of them, what would you want? 300. You would want 300? For all of them. That's, I think pretty, we, that's a I think pretty we, steep discount. Yeah, I think we can do that. Do you have like a bin that we could take them somewhere in if we brought it back? Okay. Uh, let me find you one. Sure, we got them for three. Three? 300, which for this stack is on it. Like yeah. each of these have, I would say, a very conservative oh, average value of 15. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you guys, do you guys think um, this will work? 
I'm gonna load it up and we'll see. Yeah, and either know. way, because I, I I've got extra containers. I so. drove, so I can always come back That's and like, fine. and I'll get you the money in a sec. Thank you. Thank you. And you know what, Riff, Riff, since I'm such a swell guy, I'm gonna, you're gonna have to buy these for me. This is my finder's fee. I gotta buy it for you? Yeah. All right, <laughs> here, just take this. Just have this, man. Okay, yeah, I, that's I don't cool. know whatever's in there. There's at like, least $6 in there. What, what do you think's in here? I think... What do you think I pulled out before I came here? It's not that much, but I did pull I out. I think four fifty. I pulled out four twenty. Wait, why did I pull out four twenty? <laughs> this one honestly goes for a decent bit if I'm remembering correctly. I don't know if this is case only though. Was this case only? Is what I was wondering. No, that's sealed. That's complete. Yeah, that's sealed. It's a hundred. I got it at a hundred sealed. Oh, oh, really? It came with the? Huh. Okay. I would never have known. Oh, I found another one. Look at that. That's cool. I don't know why. I just. Oh. I just cannot get over these N64 VHSs. These things are so cool. Check it out. How much? There's five a piece. <laughs> Do you want me to buy these or are you buying these? Yeah, either way, I don't really care. I mean, I'm not, I'm gonna You're buy You're the them. VHS man. I'm gonna buy them regardless. All right, I'll just so steal them back from you later. Oh, dang. Collector's Edition Windjammers. I actually have this game. Not much replayability, but you know, it, it's, Cool, I like Frisbee. All right, so this is a little bit of a puzzle. I don't know why it goes, oh, I guess that's only new condition. That's why it's so expensive on Amazon. I think I'll probably pass on that. Uh, I'll go take it to my buddy's booth right down He's there. He's emptying his wallet and getting a workout. So, so, I bought you a couple oh, VHSs. I'll take it where I can get it, folks. If I'm giving up that much. Yeah, well, to be honest, when the camera turns off, I'm just keeping it. The bad thing is like, I could have theoretically sent those all back media mail, but uh. Did you see that? Oh, dang. Look at the case that it's in. Yeah. Holy cow. That's that's cool. Oh, wow. It has like a little, yeah, it has some stuff in there. That's so cool. It's like a little pokey dollhouse. Yeah, it was all this stuff. That's dope. Oh, yeah. oh if only there was Polly yeah. World in there. I love these watercolor Tomy figures. These are amazing. Dude, Gibble. Yeah, it's, it's a hundred for the, that and all the things. That's a hundred. And then, holy cow, this sign I yeah, just saw. I'm, I'm thinking 750 on that. 750, oh, dang. I, I can't blame you. This is one area of these video game conventions that I don't get to experience as much as I'd really like to. All of the free to play arcade games and pinball machines. I mean, so many of these things are just so cool, but I'm always just busy like buying games, making videos, trying to remember to eat every once in a while. You guys know how it is. Dang, that guy's cool. Yeah, it has different light. You can the light wow. Now this is what I really like to do down here. Just like kind of get low to the ground and check out some of the games that everyone else just, it's just kind of a pain to get down here. So why would you really want to look all the way? Uh, 30, yeah, that's a little bit much. Got some Ratchet and Plank. Ooh, Captain America's not bad. It is the reprinted case and yeah, 34. We'll pass on that too. Anyone who's been watching a while knows I am a big Imaginator man. Looks like these are individually priced. So there probably isn't going to be a whole lot of uh, wiggle room on these guys. Tell me about, are these um, loose amiibos also? Okay, yeah, the prices are underneath. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's amazing. Yeah, 150 on him. Found that at a yard sale once for like 25 cents. Those were the days. Can I take a look at that um, DS XL? Yeah, I might, I might make you an offer on that a little bit later on in the... Yeah, for sure. Really great cartridge section as well. Uh-oh, Dirty Reseller Riff has found the dollar oh, game. Yeah. Folks, look. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the rumors were true. No, but what the heck? <laughs> I just want to get a shot of the sign. Don't eat me. Dollar each, I'll take them. Did uh, Ricky and I were talking about these earlier. Did you save the ones that you had found before? Yep. Dude, By the way, double. folks, get a load of this Virtual Boy shirt. Ooh, <laughs> tell them tell how much it goes for. So this is like a fifteen to $2,000. 1500 to $2,000 shirt. I've never seen that much money, but dang. I, look at this. We were talking about how we like pretty much have never seen this before for a dollar. Like, look at all this. There's just a lot of great cartridge deals to be had, especially yeah, wrestling. What is that? Are you just taking a risk on that? It's actually, I think it's Bio Freaks. It okay. Oh, tell. cool. I see that B right there. That's like a that's like a mystery. Look at these ones I got for a dollar. Japanese. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm still, <laughs> dude, this is, look at this, Star Wars for Editor Riff is pleasuring himself with retro <laughs> games. Do you know what y'all have on this uh, Pikmin Amiibo in here? Uh, put that around for you. 
I put it at 50. At 50, okay, yeah, that's about right. Has anyone, you, what did you say this was, QB? QB, $250 Amiibo, I've never seen that. What's, do you know the story behind it? So it's like a Japanese release, uh -huh. that one. So it's, it's pretty cool, but so uh, like, yeah, it's not in box, the last one sold for 400. It sold for 400 in box? Dang, folks, if you got a QB, now might be the time to sell, that's insane. We got some DS stuff, ooh, hold up. Ace Attorney, these games can sometimes go for really decent prices, having them all for 30 a piece. That is very interesting. Uh, that's about right. That's about right. Yeah, it looks like they're priced about what they should be. I don't know if that's the original seal or not. I'll probably pass on that. You think you'd do 50 on that? Yeah. Okay. I think I can do that. All right. Thank you. Here's one. I know it's done okay for me in the past. Yeah. It's one that you would think would be like five bucks and it's 40. Yeah, it looks like that's about what I can get. Well, I hope y'all sell a ton of stuff. I'm sure I'll be back by. So you guys, you're open for business and everything? Nice. Rick Ricky games. This is cool too. Dang. What did y'all have on these guides? Uh, 10 each. 10 each. I think I know someone who might want those. I'm trying to stick with light stuff, which is hard to do. Yeah. Oh man, that bundle for 100 is a solid deal too. Yeah, they're the problem is that they're not the genuine back Sure. Well, that's forgivable. Yeah, yeah. So Raging Blast 2, I, I would be close on. Are you guys negotiating it all this early? Okay. How's it going? All right. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. You pick a, you picked some stuff up already? Yeah. Oh, man. Let's hey, look. if you see Monster Hunter Rise somewhere, let me know. I'm looking for it. Okay. I, I, I'm Under knots. That's cool. It needs to be clean. It's California games, too. I got okay. the box manual. These are the missing manuals that I needed for my box games. Uh-huh. So I'm trying to hit 600 CIB. Good I'm for at, you. And being able to find manuals at a convention like this is huge. Oh, this is cool, too. I've been... Do you have any more advanced stuff um I'm not much just the... oh what's in here I'm gonna double check on that one okay so yeah there's a little bit of room so if I did these two and actually let me let me see if there's anything in here make this bundle as big as I can worldwide Yu-Gi-Oh we'll go ahead and throw that in um no oh, excuse me doing some crash over here I did Frogger. Oh, GameCube, uh-oh. They know Mario Golf is actually pretty interesting at 35. Uh, 28 after. So folks, my uh, battery just died in the middle of that last one, but they ended up working a really solid deal for me. 80 bucks for these four games. It was supposed to be over 100. WarioWare is definitely the most valuable. I should be able to get close to 80 after fees. This one should go for 50 something. Frogger, I think, actually sells for 20 plus after fees, weirdly enough. And then this was totally Totally just a hunch, so let's look that up. So I got it for 12, looks like it's supposed to go for around 15 after fees. This one, because it's complete, I should be able to make 20 bucks on after fees, nothing crazy. One thing that I really don't talk about enough about these conventions that I love to look at when I'm here is all the artwork and all the various mediums that people put into expressing their passions about stuff. I just, I absolutely love that. Look at this, guys, the Koroks actually rattled. That's amazing. Shout out Dusty Lion if you guys want one of these. What you guys have on your Nintendo Powers? They have inserts, 10 bucks, if not five bucks. Okay, that's kind of cool. Probably about. Imaginator, that's a good price. You have more of the ones that look kind of like this with the diamond bases. There's one. Crash. This one I think is just with the starter pack. So are these all you had of those? Yeah, that's all okay. I got. Yeah. Um, well, I probably will go ahead and do these. Cool. Right. I'll maybe do this as well. That didn't have a price. Well, it's two bucks to each, so was that okay. 10 bucks? Two, four, 10 bucks. Take of those for 10. Okay, well, thank you. you. all these, you can have them all for 14 if you want to just all get them all. <laughs> I'll stick with these for now just because I don't know what those are. Okay, yeah, fair enough. And uh, <laughs> yeah, if we want to bag the, oh, that's cool. And I'll take a look at some of the advanced stuff too. Okay. It's unfortunate these are all sliced. For anyone who doesn't know, this is the Amazon seller app that I'm using to scan all of these games and look up more or less what I can get for them. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's a repro, dang. Oh, we got some... These mini GameCube cases are so funny, these jewel cases. 
I'll go ahead and I'll do Defender. Oh, I'll do Tetris too. Fun fact, this right here is actually a special edition Switch Joy-Con. You can tell the only definitive factor is this little slash on the bottom here, which means it actually goes with the Super Smash Bros. Edition Switch. So, so far today, we've bought very little of what I actually set out to buy, which was GBA games and handheld, but I'm desperately curious to know how much each of these $2 figures actually goes for on Amazon. I have a pretty good feeling. So this guy was a total risk, had no idea, I've never sold it before. It looks like he goes for 11 bucks shipped, which is not good. All right, so this is Master Mysticat, apparently. He goes for 14 after fees. Master and Ambush here should get me 27. And the only listing that I could find for Crash and Cortex has them at about 30 bucks after fees in use condition. So that's a solid $60 profit in this little bag. Found another little video game booth here in the craft section. Oh, that's cool. What did you have on the VHS here? Oh, Mario Odyssey. 15 on that. All right. Thank you. When is this from? Looks more recent. Yeah, three years, 2019. Okay. But it's yeah. the NECA, everything's posable. That's awesome. Oh man, bat pokey. <laughs> That's amazing, I definitely had these. Folks, I cannot escape the nostalgic Pokemon stuff today. This is crazy. I used to get actual sticker books of these and yeah. I would just take out all the stickers and put them all on the first page. Uh, so I, when I was a kid, what I used to do, I used to go with my mom to work and I would stick these on my nipples at the club. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to ruin this video single-handedly. So folks, I'm taking a little quick break. Is this legal? No, not yet. A little, is Ricky. a little quick break from the convention. Get a little food. I'll give you three guesses where we're going. I stole literally the entire Pixel Game Squad. We're here! To go to walk a few blocks to this one lunch spot. Sponsor us, Chipotle! <laughs> given enough credit right now to the shirt, the outfit today. I like money, the shirt from Editor Riff himself and the Mr. Krabs hat all in one outfit. It's uh, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a totem, a little bit of a token to give me a little bit of luck today. This good man is paying for my beautiful lunch today. Tell him why. Because you did the Nintendo Power thing for me. You know, it's just definitely gonna make four figures on that deal. So I think, I think I earned it. All right, folks, 20 minutes later, done with lunch. Honestly, like convention days, it's so nice to get away a little bit from all the chaos. It gets and, crazy. Uh, steal some of these guys. By the way, if you have not subscribed to Pixel Game Squad yet, this is the crew that you will likely find on there, the band of buffoons. Uh, band of buffoons? If you have subscribed, go ahead and unsubscribe. Uh, do yourself a favor in your subscription feed. Does anybody else remember how crappy his videos were before I edited them? All right. It was let's, like let's Chinese let's not water them, torture. Not arm them. I with heard more in ammunition. Russia that's what they're using <laughs> hey, to hurt people. That's racist. <laughs> All right. You know, I think I think that's all the time we have for this clip. <laughs> All right, folks, suitcase stop number two of the day. I would say it's been a moderately successful day. Nothing crazy so far. I've been holding off on really um, negotiating too much. Like I'll ask people if they'll do bundle deals and stuff. Um, but the last day of the convention, Sunday, is when the deals are really going to start heating up. Oh, sorry. That was awkward. Okay, honestly, we bought a little bit more than I really thought so far. Oh, that's my camera, we can put that back. Yeah, that's definitely, that's not a bad day, but I'm gonna see if we can get this a little fuller. What do y'all have on the 3DS's? We got them for two, two fifty. I got some in the box over here. Okay, and what about the regular? 120. 120. Would you mind, could I take a look at them? Yeah. You said two and 250? I'll, I'll think on that. Yeah, let me know. Are you Phoenix Riso? That's me. Can I take a picture with you? Yeah, let's do it, oh man. So folks, one of the parts of conventions that I didn't talk about before that is one of my favorites is connecting with viewers. And here I have my new friend, John, who is a viewer of the channel. And just get this, gifted me this, Nintendo GameCube Golf 
water bottle. You said this was like a promo thing at E3? Yeah, E3, yeah. You said he got it back in It's got GameCube logo, like golf balls, and. and the rag too. Yeah, the rag. Dude, this is seriously amazing. Thank you so much. I yeah, appreciate it. All right, so you also brought some stuff to sell. Yeah, Chrono Trigger, that's definitely a higher dollar one. Did you know what you were looking for for it? Probably like 120, 130. 120. Okay, I can take a look. Yeah, that's cool. So what were you asking on that? Probably with the game, like 120 too. 120? And you and you think the game is authentic? Yeah, like uh, you could look in the back. Here. Yeah, okay. I have opened it too. Sure. I'll go ahead and do that for this one and then I'll check on the Chrono Cross as okay. well. Oh, that one's on hold? No, no. Oh. It says like brand new. Yeah, oh no wow, way. probably wouldn't be a buyer if it's new. Thank you though. Okay, so status update on the Pokemon 3DS. I think I can conservatively get 300 for it after fees on Amazon. So I'm gonna see if they do really any discount, like if they went down to 225 say, and I could make 70 bucks on that, I would go ahead and do it. I am interested in, in this guy. Uh, did you decide what, what you thought you could do on it? So there's no wiggle room on that one? I wouldn't need a ton. If you would do 225, I would do that, even without the charger. Or if you want me to like come back tomorrow or Sunday, I can do that too. It's, it's up to you. Future editing riff, I am so sorry. That clip was literally over two minutes long. Ooh, folks, I've spotted something interesting, and it's not just the neon signs that are, oh. Balls! Dude, I was, <laughs> I was literally just talking to the future version of you in a different clip, and here you are, like the ghost of Christmas future, except <laughs> uglier. Balls! Anyways, I was saying, all these games on this shelf over here are actually sealed. Uh, which is interesting to me because sometimes these can do really well on Amazon. It's just one of those things uh, that sometimes there's a little bit of margin on, so we'll see. So this one is just about right on the mark. I would get 32 after fees, so we'll pass on that. Same thing with that. All right, so after scanning the whole shelf, this one I should be able to get 50 bucks for after fees, and this one actually is saying 65, which would be crazy. So I'm gonna see if we can bundle these for a small discount. So actually on this shelf over here, I did find Mario 3D World for 35, which should go for 50 after fees. And then this Zelda right here as well, which we're looking at like 86, and that's marked at 55. All right, so I got these four. Uh, if people buy multiples, will you do little discounts? Let's see what we got, what we're talking about, okay. 140. So Sticker, I believe. Okay. Yeah. So what do you What do you want to do? One twenty-five. So fifteen. Yeah, I can do that. For you. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank yeah, you. you got it. All right. So total paid one twenty-five for these four games, and after fees value should be well over two hundred bucks. So I'm pretty happy with that. So folks, check this booth out. This is a entire retro living room, right down to the pizza box. This is the booth of my friend Retro Finds Worldwide, and they also have some sweet stuff. Oh, look at that blockbuster hat. Oops, I'm wrecking stuff over here. We got Pokemon box. Ooh, that price actually makes me feel a little bit better what I paid. The Groudon Advance SP. Ooh, look at that Pokemon Game Boy. That's sweet. Oh, and folks, check out the shirts too. You know, I've been a sucker for shirts recently. Dang, 1996 looks like. Episode one, Sabuba. Found another booth over here that just has tons of good stuff. We'll have to see, ooh, that's a valuable little PlayStation TV right there. We'll have to see what kind of prices are on everything. That is very confusing. Ooh, this is a little bit more interesting, perhaps. Here's a little hot tip for you if you ever find yourself going to a convention. The more a booth looks like a yard sale, the better the deals are likely to be. The less polish, the less preparation, the more likely it is that that person is not like a professional vendor and they'll give you a little bit better deals. So, it's 310 now. As you guys can see, been here about five hours and the craziest thing is this convention does not close for another seven. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be here the whole time or what, maybe it'll just end up being a long day. We'll see, I know, I think I have a panel with Rick at like eight or nine, should probably check on that. 
Here's another hot tip that I will share with you guys. This is my little note that I made ahead of time to remind myself I was doing research on what's been selling for me while on Amazon. And these are the things that I came up with, basically handhelds, different kinds of fast selling handheld games, amiibos, random stuff like that. Oh, we got a lot of sealed Vita stuff over here. Holy cow. There's definitely some potential with that. I don't see that too often. Yes. Ooh, this is a solid deal. Game Shark stuff does really well for me. Do you know if y'all have any wiggle room on this guy? Take it for 30. 30 hours. Right. That sounds good. Thank you. What about this guy? Want to uh, sit on him a little more? Yeah. I don't blame you. I'll, I'll come back Sunday. If it's still here, sure. maybe we can talk. You guys remember the yard sale comment that I made before? Well, I think we have found one, except that uh, when everything has individual stickers, that's also not the best sign. Oh. Money. Money. So what I always look for at places like this are things like this that apparently are not priced yet. I'll get like a good number of them. Ooh, there's another one. A good number of them together. A solid handful. And then ask for a price on that. And hopefully when they see how much I'm looking to buy, they won't want to let me walk away. And we'll be more motivated to give a like less than full market price. So I really haven't been able to find any other games that really work with my margin. So I'm just going to see what he's wanting on these two. Good. I was just wondering what y'all had on these two. Um. So Fortune Street looks like it's going for about 40 bucks. Okay. And then Punch Out, 35. Okay. I'll probably pass on those for now. Thank you, though. Make me an offer. Um, <laughs> if you wanted to be at 20 and 25. So 45, could you do 50 on them? 25 a piece, that's coming down quite a bit. Yeah, no, it's it's not a bad price at all. I'm wondering on the, does the Fortune Street have the manual? No. Okay. I'll do 45. Okay, that works for I me, thank you. I didn't, I didn't have the manual. No worries, I do appreciate you working with me. Thank you. Hey, thank you. I'll be back, I'm sure. At another booth, this one actually is partially sealed for 15. That is a pretty solid deal, 33 after fees. I think I will go ahead and do the Sheik and the Shulk. Sheik and Shulk. Yep, thank you. 30. So that will be 80. Since there you go. Thank you. Thank you. I'll probably be back. Okay, so you remember how a little bit ago I said that I had a game hunting panel at like 8 or 9 at night? Turns out it was at 4. And this gentleman <laughs> literally two you. minutes ago called me <laughs> and was like, hey, we've got this thing. So I came in here, we're setting up, and it turns out... <laughs> I was a little bit late, <laughs> but I got, our give, I got our game giveaways. I definitely paid for most of those. Yeah, you did. <laughs> we got giveaways. Too, so I'll, buy you, I'll buy you dinner tonight. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right, so panel's done. That was an absolute blast. I just love going back and forth with viewers of the channel, answering questions, all that stuff. I'm honestly starting to drag a little bit at this point. It's been seven or so hours buying, selling, making videos, doing panels, all that stuff. Gonna have to maybe try to go find some balls. See if we can get a few more solid balls before the end of the convention today. Oh my gosh, I need it. I just spent $5.42 on this drink. I feel like all the profit, I feel like all the expected profit that I built up today was all for nothing. 150 you got on it. Gotcha. Yeah, the condition's probably a little rough for me on that. They definitely, I've, I've seen them been going up in price recently though, weirdly enough. I was maybe interested in this though, believe it or not. Does this have the original battery cap and everything? Okay, nice, no corrosion or anything. Are you guys firm on 50 on that or? Give me 40. I'll, you. I'll do 40, <laughs> I appreciate that. And then I, I saw that you had some sealed stuff up in here. Final Fantasy Online. White Knight's kind of interesting for 14. Oh, uh, I guess there's a pretty good chunk out of that seal. Uh, 18, yeah, that's about right. I don't remember seeing this here before earlier today, 75. Sweet. Okay, 
Uh, any other handhelds? Yeah, I was asking if you have any other handhelds. Uh, this is all of them right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. D does the battery hold the charge though? Uh, I haven't charged it up in a while, so I don't know. Okay. I've never actually had a problem with it. Gotcha. Um, does it have a charger? I didn't bring it with me. Okay, gotcha. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. Well, could I grab? Could I buy it from you and grab it from you tomorrow if it comes? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll go ahead and I'll do these two then. So we're back in the breakout room. Just got done watching editor Riff and his uh, band of buffoons do a little game show out here. Video game music game show was a lot of fun. You guys are gonna have to let me know what I'm most curious from you about this video. Do you enjoy this like shameless longer form vlog kind of content, especially for like a more interesting day in the life of a video game reseller like today? Or should I stick with more like idea based, small or more bite-sized videos. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. Maybe I'll do maybe I'll do a poll about it at some point. I don't know. I'd also really like to know too as well, so please do let us know because a video like this, obviously I'm putting much less editing into it. As much editing time is still going into it because it's two hours of footage, but the amount of edits that go into it because it's so long are much less, if that makes sense. Let us, let us stop calling me a band of buffoons. Just kidding, I like it. So folks, it's kind of a tradition at this point that when I go to a convention, I find some room that I'm not supposed to be in in order to film part of a video, and I don't know what the heck this room is supposed to be for, uh, but right now, it's gonna be for Phoenix Resale. Here is the haul of everything that we ended up picking up today. I spent a total of only honestly like eight or nine hundred bucks which is low for me for the first day of a convention we'll see how that shapes up with the last day but the good news is once all of this stuff sells I think I should stand to make about eight or nine hundred as well which is a really good margin for a convention like this <laughs> Normally, when you're buying from other vendors like this, you kind of have to expect to get a pretty slim margin. But again, because I had to be so selective today, because I literally have to fit everything I buy inside of this luggage bag here, I stuck to stuff that I thought would be a little bit higher margin. When normally at a convention like this, I would be a little bit less discriminant and okay with smaller margins and honestly, physically larger items. If you guys wanna watch another longer form vlog of a whole convention day, check out this video right down here, my first convention ever, and I will catch you guys on the flip.